What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Surviving with Thomcraft 5. Now today guys, we're going to be messing around with a couple different things. To start off the episode, we're going to be messing around with Automated Alchemy, which is pretty much just going to be an upgrade on the Crucible. It's going to make it a lot easier to use. It's going to simplify most of the stuff, and it's going to allow us to actually pull the Essentia from the Warded Jars over here, or the Void Jars, and pretty much use that instead of having to throw items into the crucible which means we're not going to be losing anything to just having to let it dissipate into the air so i think that's going to be really awesome it's going to simplify most of what we're doing later today because we are going to have to make a couple more alchemical brass ingots and uh, thaumium ingots because the second thing that we're going to be doing today is making elemental tools so we do have to do research for that and that's actually the only research we need to do it's right down here and this pretty much is going to be an upgrade on the thaumium tools and they're going to get special effects so specifically people had recommended that i get the pickaxe of the core because it's really useful and can get you more ores which is great um, but you know what I thought it looks great so we'll do that and then I was looking at the rest of them and they all have cool effects so I was like you know what let's just make all of them let's pimp out our character now we've got some good gear on us let's get some good tools so that's what we're going to be doing the only one we're not going to make is going to be the hoe because I'm not really growing anything yet but we're going to be doing that and then if we go to the alchemy tab if you guys have been following along uh, we've already done the automated alchemy research and we also are going to have to use the essentia transfusion to get the different uh, essentia into the automated alchemy setup so we do have to make a couple different things here so first off this is the only research we're going to need like i said the elemental tools so we can just quickly research that and we can take a look at those really fast so come down here go to elemental tools and it pretty much just takes the thaumium version of the tool, combines it with uh, two shards, a diamond, and great wood planks. And the only thing that differs are the shards. And you can see it just pretty much uh, bases it off of the, I guess you could say there's a specific color on there. So this one's got yellow, which is for the air shards. This one has red indicating it's going to be the fire shards. So you can pretty easily tell which shards it's going to need, um, stuff like that. So... Uh, specifically if we look at the pickaxe of the core this is the one that was recommended for me um when you mine ore blocks there's a chance you will mine a cluster instead native clusters are much easier to process and produce double the normal amount of metal when smelted so that's really nice and i believe you can also use it to tell if you're going to mine uh something special i'm not sure okay it can also be used to sound out any surface you right click against or find out what valuable or click against to find out what valuable ores, lava, or water can be found nearby. So that's pretty cool. Um, the axe is really nice too when it comes to chopping down trees. And I believe the sword allows you to uh, hit additional guys that are coming at you. And I guess when you're blocking, it will put a wind around you, pushing enemies and loose objects away and deflecting projectiles, which sounds pretty awesome. Ooh, and it lifts us into the air. Okay, I'm really excited for making this now. I didn't even know that. Okay, so now we actually have to get into it. We have the research for that. And now we're going to come up here and look at the automated alchemy. So we're going to need two alchemical constructs. And it's going to be kind of like a multi-block structure. It's going to be the crucible and then the two alchemical constructs, which are relatively easy to craft. I had a lot of leftovers of Essentia tubes and Essentia valves. So that's what this is for right here. So we can just come over here and craft that. We're going to need to make three of them for today because we're going to be using two of them for the actual automated alchemy and then oh you know we get to swap out with this iron capped uh great wood wand now because we're not going to be using this anymore because we have the staff uh but we're going to make the three of these and then i'll actually pull this out and let it recharge uh, because we're going to be using it to form this but yeah so we're going to throw these two down on top of it and the nice thing is it doesn't need water anymore so it does need a heat source still but you're not gonna have to worry about refilling it and I'm actually going to move it a little bit closer to the jars just so that I know that it's in range. I did move this uh, essentially smeltery over one just to give us a little bit more room. So I am going to come down here and break this up. The automated step up is not always the nicest thing, but you know what? I'm going to need to fill this in too. Do I have any stone over here? I don't have any regular stone over here, so we got to grab that out refill in this area and you know what I'm gonna fill it in with this too we'll fill the whole thing in because that would just annoy me it bother me even though I couldn't see it okay so we're gonna put it over here and it's only gonna take up a one by three space so I think we can just put it pretty much right here I guess we're not gonna use this space for anything else we will have to move the torch but other than that it should be fine okay so again we need the heat source to be put back down that can go right here and I do need to go grab 
my flint and steel. I don't think I have it on me anymore. No, I do not. Should be over here. No. Over here. No, I do have it on me. Oh my gosh. I was looking over here for it because that's where it usually is in my Surviving with Rotary Craft series, but it's not over there now. Okay, so we have the Crucible as the first block, and then we need two alchemical constructs, which actually look pretty cool on top of it. And you can see it's it's funny because you can actually see some of what the blocks are that are put in there. Like you can see the valves that are in there, like when you put the actual valves in the crafting recipe. So that's pretty awesome. But now we're going to take the great wood wand, which should be fine, and we're going to right click on it. And it will form this pretty cool structure, still relatively big, but uh, this is called a thaumatorium. So if we click on this, you can see that there is now a UI that's going to pop up and it's going to allow us to put in the catalyst. So I am going to come over here and grab this iron out. So we're going to be able to put in a catalyst here and it's going to show us the options that we have to make from that. So we can make alchemical brass ingots and we can make thaumium ingots and it shows us the required, uh, you know, Essentia that's going to be down here. So we need two Ordo and two Terra, or we need one Potentia and one Aqua. And then if we were to click on this, you can see that we've now selected it. You can see it out in the front here. So it's going to indicate what it's making. And then it's got little bars below uh, the different aspects that are listed down here. And these are going to fill up and we'll be able to see the aspects in here. Once we hook up the, I believe it's the emptying Essentia transfuser. Uh, the, f the filling ones will allow stuff to leave from the device and go into the jars. We want the other one, which is going to pull it from the jars and put it into here. So uh, that's what we want. And I'm going to be a little bit cautious with how many I put in here, just because if I put a ton in here, it's going to spit them out like crazy when it's transferring over. So, um, yeah, I want to make sure I put the right amount in here, but it's great because it's going to allow us to only use the required Essentia. We're not going to go over, which has happened a lot when, specifically when I was making the balance shards last time, um, you know, there was a lot of wasted stuff. Whereas if I were to put it in the Essentia smeltery, let it go to the jars and then back over here, we wouldn't be wasting any. So uh, that is pretty great. So what we can do now is come over here and I, I don't think we actually need anything specific when we're going to be making uh, the thaumium ingots and we're going to need a lot of thaumium ingots because I haven't made any of the thaumium tools yet that we're going to be upgrading. So we pretty much need thaumium ingots and if we go over it pretty much needs two terra and two ordo and I believe we have a good amount of those over here. We've got 31 ordo which should be good and 55 terra. So one thing that I can do is throw in some more smooth sandstone because that's going to give us some of both. I went out and gathered it a little bit more. Um, so we'll let that run through there and it'll fill those up a little bit. But I believe if we look at what we're going to be making, we're going to need two for the sword, three for the axe. So we're at five, then eight, then nine. I think that's all we're going to need. So we can work on making those. I love that. I love that animation so much. It's so awesome. But I guess what we need to do first is finish up making the uh, emptying Essentia transfuser. And that's just going to, it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to require the last alchemical construct a hopper, two alchemical brass ingots, which I had left over. Luckily, I didn't have to worry about those. And then iron here and the Essentia tube down at the bottom. So we got to throw our wand in there, get out the emptying Essentia transfuser, and we can slap that onto this side right here. So that should allow it to pull from these jars. They should be in range. Uh, if we count, you have 16 blocks to get to the furthest ones. So I don't know if that registers from here, but this should only be like 10 or so, 10, maybe 12. So what we can do is throw the iron back in here. We'll get nine out and we'll throw it in here and we can select between these two. You can scroll obviously between them and then you select it. You're going to click on it and you can see this fills up and it's going to spit it out and another one and another one. And they're just going to, it's going to pull that out and they're going to go into the emptying Essentia transfuser and it's just going to keep spitting them out and filling it up. And you can see the bars down at the bottom fill up and then you're going to just deselect it. You can come over here, grab the Thaumy Mingots and we're good to go. So it is really nice to have. It does simplify things a lot, which is great. I do regret not making this before last episode. I, I was planning on doing it, but I was, you know, I didn't get around to it because I didn't think it'd be that much of a hassle to actually make the shards. This thing is great though. This thing is probably one of the most useful constructions that I've had. Uh, obviously, you know, the infusion altar is required. This is not required, but it does simplify things a ton and I regret not making it sooner. So what we need to do now is I, I guess I need to come over here and grab some wood so that we can get some sticks for this, but uh, we're going to be making the only couple more because we're going to need them. So we're going to be making all of the tools right now. So start out with making the pick because that's the, it's the one that we really want. And I guess we can just throw these in there like that. 
So then the next one we're going to want is the shovel, then the axe, and lastly the sword. And maybe eventually we'll get around to making the hoe. I'm not going to make it today just because I barely leave this house except for when I'm getting the, uh, you know, the sugar cane for making paper really, or, you know, maybe feathers or something else. But so we got all the tools now and now we have to grab out a lot of different stuff. So most of the stuff right here is going to be for getting different uh, Essentia for the setup because although it is really easy in terms of using, you know, the diamonds, takes four diamonds, a couple different, you know, easy to get shards and great wood planks, you are also going to have to use different Essentia when you're crafting this. So if we go over, you'll see for this one, we need uh, eight census and then metallum and ignis. The metallum and ignis are really easy, but we don't have census yet, which is what the uh, rose red is going to get us. And then we've got the crafting tables for the Fabrico. So we should be able to throw in the crafting tables right now. And I did put down another eight jars just so that I know that we have enough room for all the different aspects we're going to be getting. Okay, so we're easily good on that. We only needed eight of that. We can throw the rose red in there now. I don't think we're going to even need all of that either. It's pretty much just that we're going to need eight. I don't think we ever double up on any of the different uh, Essentia aspects that we're going to be using. We just need eight of it, of each kind that we're going to be using. So... Oh, wow, that was really fast. Okay, so now the last one is going to be throwing the swords in there. So this one's a little bit annoying because these don't stack, and I'm sure there's probably a better way to actually get... Uh, I can't even think of the name. It's the red sword aspect there. You know what? I'm going to look it up or else it's going to bother me. We can go back here. Aspects. It is a Verzio. I don't know. Okay, so I guess I could get it... I was unaware that I could actually come in here and see what we can get it from. That is really nice. I actually looked it up before or just kind of guessed. I guess we can get it from arrows, which would be really nice. Yeah, but whatever. Stone swords are really easy to get. So we're going to need eight of this too. So I crafted a couple extra just in the off chance that we weren't lucky with getting it. Okay, so we have seven right now. Throwing one more in here should be enough and the rest can just get trashed or I'll get them off camera and turn them into Essentia. But... We'll throw this back in here, and now we actually should be good to go, I believe. That should be everything. So the nice thing is that unlike the last infusion that we did, these infusions should be relatively stable. So if we look at this, you can see it's pretty much negligible for all of these, which is great, and it only requires four, which makes it really easy to balance, obviously, because it's uh, you know an even number, and we can just make them opposite on them, uh, or we could just do you know one on each side to be opposite. So the first one we're going to do again is the pick. And that means that we're going to need the fire shards, we're going to need a diamond, and we are going to need a great wood plank. So, I guess what we can do is, I don't know if this would be better than two and two, but I think you one there, one there, and then one here, and one here. I think that's probably the best. And can we use the staff for this? Yes, we can. Okay, so, I don't think stuff will be popping off a ton when we're doing this, but we should be okay to just let it run. And the nice thing is, it's going to be a lot faster because it doesn't require um, as much to fill it up from the uh, jars as the other infusions that we were doing. So it'll get to actually sucking in the items faster. Okay, there we go. So this is the pickaxe of the core. Awesome. So it's got sounding two, refining one. I assume the sounding two is gonna be what allows us to kind of see through the wall almost. So let's see how we do that. Let's mess around with this a little bit before we jump into the other ones. So um, I believe it was, you can also, if you right click against a surface. Whoa, okay, so I assume those little like flashes are telling us where the ore actually is. So like, so like there's ore there or there. I assume that's what it is. I don't know, don't, you know, don't take my word for that, but that would be what makes sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do the sword, which is going to be the air shards, and another diamond, another great wood plank. So again, we can do the same setup. We can do air shard, air shard, diamond, great wood plank there, and get back out our staff, and we can let it go. So I'm just going to sit here and watch this just because I want to be sure that nothing happens with these, uh, although I don't think they will be popping off during this whole thing. Um... Should be relatively quick for this. Yeah, okay, so that, that was really quick. Um, then the next one, we can get set up for the next one then. We can do the axe, which is going to be the water shards. We already have those ready to go. So, there we go. I think this looks awesome, too. 
This thing looks sick. Okay, so that's the sword. I want to see it lift us into the air, honestly. Let's go into F5, okay. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. So blocking is like probably super effective with this thing against skeletons. I wonder how far you can go up with that. I'm genuinely curious if it'll like actually fly you way up into the air. I feel like we could die trying this, but we're going to go outside and we're going to do it. Okay, so let's get, whoa, get an FPS drops. Okay, so come right out here. Okay, I don't, I don't want to die if this lifts us really far into the air. Okay, it takes you up. It's taking us up, boys. Well, okay, we're not going to, I don't want to keep going up because I feel like at a certain point, it's going to be very bad if we just keep going. So we're going to say that it can take you very high up and just drop you, but you probably don't want to let that happen. So uh, I would avoid that. So now we're going to do the axe. Oh, does that use its durability? Oh, okay. So the special effects actually use the durability of the, like the pickaxe and the sword. So I didn't mine anything, but this lost durability. So I assume just, you know, using the sounding used it, which makes sense. So I guess you probably wouldn't want to actually try and, you know, fly up into the air like your Mary Poppins or something uh, with the sword. I'm not sure how much durability it uses, but yeah, probably something to keep in mind. So this one actually uses, uh, it only uses two different types of aspects. So I believe each one uses a total, oh, you know what, we gotta come, gotta come get this shard over here, throw it back on. Okay, I didn't think it would pop off when we're doing these. But I guess each one is going to require uh, 24 total. So this one, because it only uses 2, has 16 and 8 instead of 8, 8, and 8. Okay, so there we go. We have Axe of the Stream. Now, this thing has some pretty cool effects too, where um, not only is it good when it comes to chopping down trees, but you can also have items like they're drawn to you. Uh, so if you press and hold right click... Uh, with the axe, it will draw all nearby items towards you, not just the wood it chopped. And any wood chopped down using the special effect will automatically float towards you, which is really nice. And so I believe the effect is uh, if you chop trees from the top down, uh, even if you hit the bottommost block, so it should just like chop down the whole tree. So yeah, so pretty much, yeah, chops down all the wood that's connected. So it's a nice thing that, you know, I don't really have to worry about screwing over the house if I chop down one block, but like if I, I wouldn't want to chop down this right here for the doorway. That would not be good. Okay, so we're going to do the last one now. We're almost done, guys. Do not worry. Uh, we're going to be doing the shovel. Now, I actually don't know specifically what the shovel does. I did not look into this. I just thought, you know what, if we're doing all the other ones because they're cool, we should do the shovel. So I think we should have everything for the shovel. I actually didn't look at what we need for the shovel. Okay, so for the shovel, yeah, we need Terra and Fabrico, so we can easily have that much. The Terra is over there, full, and yeah, we have enough Fabrico. Okay, so we should be good to go on this one. Starter up. I keep throwing the staff out of my hotbar. So there we go. And I got to keep an eye on this now, too, because I didn't... Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. I don't think the last time we got shocked by this thing that it hurt that much. Um, let's go in there and check. Okay, so... Once this is done, we can take a look at the effect, mess around with it, and then I believe we will call it a day. Okay. And there we go. So this is the Shovel of the Earth Mover. So take a look at what this does. So the Shovel is uh, combining Earth Shards. Oh, so it digs a 3x3 three three area, which is awesome. If you right-click on the side of a block, it will attempt to place a 3x3 three three section of the same material in the world as long as you have sufficient. So it kind of acts like the equal trade wand foci that we got, sort of. Uh, it's a little bit worse in that it's a smaller version. It's a 3x3 three three section. Um, the orientation of both the digging and construction depend on the face you dug or clicked. That's pretty simple. Um, you can see where the... Okay, so if shift is pressed, you can see where they will... Uh, you can change the orientation. Okay. And obviously with all of them, if shift is held while using the tool, all special properties are suspended and it functions like a normal shovel. So that's pretty awesome. We now have all these sweet tools in our inventory. This is how I like to organize them like that. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode, found it entertaining or informative. Feel free to give it a like as it does help me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later.